now you brought up something like uh very interesting that i hear a lot i hear a lot of people say um and you didn't you didn't say this specifically but i hear a lot of people say that automation is going to start killing off a lot of jobs so uh what are your thoughts on that and oh yeah <laughs> no it, it's it's funny it's a it's a spicy topic i guess mm-hmm. um personally uh, you you hear the buzzwords right between yeah. artificial intelligence and machine learning and yada yada uh i realize and i acknowledge hey they they have some footing like there is substance there there is something there uh but i guess me personally i i haven't drank the kool-aid yet uh i i am not in the camp that thinks hey oh automation and ai is going to take everyone's jobs uh, i think we're still going to be kicking around for i think we're still going to be doing our, our our tech and our security for quite some time okay okay cool cool, cool. what about you are you uh, are you feeling i don't know the ai world takeover um it's i would say slowly coming yeah. a little bit uh you, you're starting to see it like with uh jenkins popping up chef puppet you know all these different automation tools popping up uh i'm starting seeing them actually in the workplace in, in positions that i worked for uh jenkins developers and uh just people that are automating you know specific tasks but uh as far as cybersecurity, i don't know um i don't i don't think it will fully uh, affect the jobs uh, because you're still going to have to have those eyes on the code um, in, in my opinion it it, it it would take years for it to get to a point where I guess the code is so automated or the the way they the way it's scanned and all that stuff is so automated um, that it can you know get rid of jobs so I'm, yeah. I'm I lean with, with kind of what you're saying I, I haven't fully drunk the Kool-Aid but I, I I'm starting to see it though so I mean the the whole deep fake stuff I know that's been floating around those are incredible to see um some of the I, Boston Dynamics has crazy oh, cool yeah. stuff with new <laughs> robots I don't know <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know but we'll see we're still early I think mm-hmm. uh plenty to do so. yeah yeah definitely definitely now um as a security researcher um is that considered like um red team or blue team so it's interesting i, I actually get this this question a lot because from what a lot of folks know kind of of, of me on the internet when they, when they see my channel and they, they see a lot of capture the flag and kind of offensive or adversarial emulation uh penetration testing and stuff like that people would typically put me more on the red team and I kind of agree with them because I, I feel a little bit more I, I guess adversarial I, I like the offense um, but my day job is a role that I guess puts me on the blue team like it, it's a def- mm-hmm. defensive thing uh, we're, we're talking about making things better and securing things hardening systems etc looking for the bad stuff uh, so I think what I do for what what I don't know what pays the bills is a quote unquote blue team role uh but what i love about the the spot where i'm at right now is that they have a very much uh defend forward or our offense will be your defense it's like you know you know when when people say your best defense is knowing how the offense works Mm -hmm. Uh, i love that because all the other folks that i work with they're oh they're whatever ex-military, ex-NSA operators that would used to be behind the keyboard doing real operations in the offensive mindset. Uh, but that's how we can spread more information and tell more people about like, look, 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 look at all these things that you're throwing money at, all these blinking boxes and bells and whistles. Hey, it can be bypassed. Let me show you how it's done. And let me show you the better way and, and that sort of thing. So. Uh, I guess I guess my position is more blue team than it is red team, mm-hmm. but I think the red team is totally necessary. Okay, okay, cool, yeah. Um, and my first time hearing about it was uh, like the whole red team, blue team thing, because I never, I like I like I've said multiple times, I'm I'm not in cybersecurity, uh, but I remember seeing it in the uh, what was that the Edward Snowden movie. <laughs> oh yeah, but, yeah 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 so yeah i thought that was super cool how they have the offense and the defense and and i think that's that's the way they're actually still operating uh 
with this whole cyber war space, you know, that's out there right now. Um, now, uh, question for you as well. Uh, bug bounties. Have you, do you work with bug bounties or, Ooh. and I know I'm throwing you off a little bit. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's good. Okay. Uh, it's, it's funny. I also, uh, a lot of the folks that kind of check out stuff that I do, whether it's the category of penetration testing, the category of capture the flag, or the category of, of bug bounty. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I haven't been able to dive into bug bounty just yet. Uh, I don't know if I will. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to, maybe, but I'm understanding that that's going to be years down the line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding time. It's just a matter of... a. Uh, putting in like and making yourself actually do it um I, I know a lot of people that have incredible success in in bug bounty and they hey it's an awesome way to earn some extra cash uh, i i haven't been able to to squeeze it into my life just yet but maybe mm -hmm. someday yeah, are you so, in that realm do you, do you nah, kind of follow or yeah. I, I, well what made me ask you that uh i remember a while back uh watching a video about uh i don't know a uh, guy became a millionaire by learning how to hack or something like that yeah, and yeah. uh and he was talking about bug bounties so and i know a lot of cybersecurity guys talk about bug bounty and going after you know finding bugs for a lot of these big companies uh because i know they offer like programs and stuff i've i've seen and uh i don't know i was just curious about it if if it was something that people yeah. should look into you know so i, I guess I, I will carry that then um so if anyone listening in has any interest in it um there are some uh, fantastic programs uh bug crowd is a big name hacker one is a big name um if you're maybe more on the uk or european side um integrity spelt with all eyes int uh nt gritty all eyes um those are fantastic uh vdp your vulnerability disclosure programs or bug bounty programs uh and you get you get pitted against a real application like a real environment that an actual business and an actual company is putting out in the world mm -hmm. uh so that means that they're probably fingers crossed if they're any worth their, anything worth their salt they're probably going to have some <laughs> security protections and you know defenses up in place mm -hmm. so when when people look at bug bounty or at least when i look at bug bounty honestly i think it can get kind of complex like you you really have to try hard you really have to be stubborn and you really have to maybe use some filter evasion or some clever bypasses. Uh, I have a lot of respect for the bug bounty folks because I feel like they try everything and, and hope that something falls out.